Hey everyone, Bill and Carrie for KB Treks. Hope you're doing well. We are on the Disney Fantasy, and quite often when people say, when we tell people we're going on a Disney cruise, quite often they say, isn't that for kids, family with kids only? Like, no, there's a lot to offer for adults, and this is just one of them. We are in the adult only section of the Disney Fantasy, which is on deck 11, 12, and 13 in the forward of the ship. So we thought we'd give you a little look around and show you all the amenities that you have because you're over the age of 18. This is deck 11. So this is adults only. Children might be able to pass through here, but there's kind of that whole debate. Anyway, but you know, there's a hot tub over here. Some lounging area. As you come over, off to the right here is Cove Cafe. I'll go in there in a second. But this is the adult pool area. Uh, this section here you can sit. This is about five foot deep, five and a half foot deep in the middle. And then you have a bar that you come up to. There's also a spot over there for a live performer. Gonna step into Cove Cafe. This is an adult only coffee shop. So you can just sit here and relax and grab yourself a cappuccino, whatever the case is that you need. And they also have some pastries here. I believe you have to purchase everything here. And we also have a bar in here. Just a good quiet place to go. So this is deck 12. This is actually family friendly for this area. So they actually have a stage here where they might be doing some performances and there's a pool here kids can go into. But uh, below on deck 11 is adult only pool area. And then there's also one up on 13. Up here on deck 13, when you come up the steps, this is the Currents Bar. Over here is a lounge area. Off to the left from the bar, this is one of the few smoking areas allowed on the ship. There's the other one over in the Meridian. This is deck 13, farther forward. This area here is concierge only. There's actually a pool back here that we can't see because, well, we don't have a concierge level. Around over here is a shower. And they call this area, they call this area Satellite Falls. Because, well, technically I think that's Sopler radar, not satellite, but sometimes they'll turn this on and it'll be like a waterfall kind of thing. More like a rainfall, not really a waterfall drip down here. Plenty of lounging area that you can sit, just relax in the sun, and you got a beautiful view off the forward of the ship. This is the very front of deck 13 forward, off the bow of the ship. And down here is the Vibe Lounge. This is for uh, teenagers. I think it's 13 through 18. But you can just come up here and relax and just watch the world. So that's just a little look at deck 11 through 13 forward for the adult pool type sections. What do you, you like this area, don't I, you? I really do like this area. We don't spend a whole lot of time in here, but when we do, it's very nice, very yeah. relaxing. Peaceful, quiet, yeah. particularly up here in the uh, the forward area. Yeah. Uh, Satellite Fall, sadly, is only on the Dream and the Fantasy. The Wonder and Magic don't have it, and it is it is really nice being up here in this area. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great. It's fantastic. It's nice and quiet, especially when you get up here, you don't even hear children from over in this area. We love children. They go great with like uh, Keontae. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay. Anyway, we want to thank you for joining us. I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. You're watching KB Treks. Please join us in the next video. Do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe so we know you're out there and you're interested. Otherwise, have a good night and good luck and have fun. See ya.